Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you guys have been following along, you know that we've been doing this Sea to Life stained glass project. In the last video, we got done with some cutting and it was actually super, super fun. If you like some cutting sounds, I think you're gonna enjoy that video. Um, but for this one today, we're gonna get into the grinding. So I got my pieces right here and they are a little bit rough right now from the cuts. So we're gonna have to grind them up get them smooth, and hopefully they'll all fit better together. If you guys are interested in getting started and you wanna get going, I've got a beginner's kit that is available. If you wanna try it out for yourself and maybe start with a different project, uh, something a little bit easier, the stained glass feathers would be a very good beginner project. The beginner's kit is available for you. Information will be in the description. So let's get going. If you guys are ready, let's do some glass grinding. All right, so let's add some water first and then we'll add some coolant. about a cup right there so for this grinder I'm supposed to add water just right up to the line over here since I'm gonna be grinding quite a bit right now I'm gonna add um, some grinder coolant this is gonna help to keep that grinding bit cool and also to help prolong the life of the bit so we're supposed to add four capfuls to this just put everything back we're gonna soak the sponge, kind of shove this through. So the sponge needs to constantly be touching that water and absorbing it so it can transfer to the bit. So now let's add our bit. All right, so I got this bit right here. This is what we're gonna be using. This is a three quarter inch diamond bit. Um, I guess I wouldn't buy anything else besides a diamond bit. Um, it's just gonna last a lot longer and it'll take off materials on your glass much faster. This is like a standard size three quarter inch bit. So we've got the Allen key and we're gonna loosen the set screw and then that's gonna tighten right onto the shaft. So I'm setting the height of it just to be about an eighth of an inch right above the platform surface right here. You can kind of check out. If you grind your glass, you're just gonna see this be at the same level as your diamond bit. And I think we're ready. So safety, um, let's get our safety glasses. As always, be wearing these, especially for grinding. Glass is gonna get everywhere and you definitely wanna protect your eyes. Um, if you don't want to breathe the glass dust, then a mask is always a good idea too. So I might as well wear it. I never do, but I think I should since this is gonna be a bigger session and I prefer not to breathe any dust, glass dust in particular. Any mask that you have to protect that glass dust is probably gonna be fine. And just real quick, I got the template. Um, this is this should be your second printout. I forgot to mention that before, but you would have two printouts. One to cut for the pattern, and then the second one is so you can compare it after you're grinding. You can see if it matches uh, back to your pattern. And the great thing about this is you can put it into a sleeve where it's waterproof. It's gonna get wet, and this is kind of a good idea for that. I saw Janelle Fu do this on her Instagram page, so give her a follow, um, thanks for the hack. I thought it was a great idea, and hopefully it helps you guys too. All right, let's try it out. So the sponge right now should be wet and also touching that bit uh, the entire time. So if there's residue on it from the glass, it's just gonna wipe it right off. So we're just gonna go right up to it, nice and slow. trying to get a feel for it it really is a nice smooth process um, you don't push too hard in at all all right this glass in particular the marker line basically just uh, disappeared so it didn't really stick too well to the glass. Somebody did mention that you should cut up your pattern pieces and then glue it onto your glass so then you'll have that as a reference when you're grinding. Um, I might try that out next time. I didn't do it this time. So that might be something that you guys would wanna do. There is the line. We'll just grind to it. Hopefully it doesn't rub off. 
depends on the glass I think some of it seems like it sticks better or the marker sticks better for this one yeah it's just coming off real easy <laughs> So pretty much try your best to match it to the pattern. Uh, the cleaner the fit, um, obviously the entire piece is going to turn out looking much, much better. Or you know what, let's try some other pen. Uh, green on green. Nope. Well, that's really hard to see. right there in the bay. It's not too bad, we don't need to change it just yet. So much gunk on here. It feels like mud, but it's really just all this um, glass shavings that's collected. Yeah. So guys, check it out. This is now ground and complete, and it looks really good. Everything is coming together. And the next steps is to clean this up, and I got a lot of cleaning to do. Let's check out and kind of see what this bay looks like. We got a lot of good use out of this. See that, it's like pretty much clay feeling. And a good reminder from one of you guys, if you have a collection of all this glass right now, don't simply just dump this out into the drain because it will clog. Um, the, the pipes or down into the sewer. It's pretty much sand um, at this point. So you can just dump this straight into your garden or in your lawn. Just be mindful of that when you're cleaning this out. I'll make sure I do the same. Yeah, as you can see, there's also quite a bit of glass bits all over the place. Uh, this time it seemed like I actually did a lot of grinding uh, for this session. So it has collected just basically all over the place. Uh, we did the cutting. We did the grinding and the next step will be the foiling. Um, so for now we'll rinse them off in some water and then just dry them off. Thank you so much for sticking around and following along. If you guys haven't done so, please do subscribe. If you guys like this video, please give me a like and hit that thumbs up. So until next time, please take care and I'll see you in the next one.